Not only do I not care that he used bots, but I knew he did. What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode. So Kendrick Lamar is about a month and a half removed from his feud with Drake. However, there are many Drake fans who have simply not gotten over Drake's loss. If you were to watch DJ Academic stream, you would note that he always tries to find new angles on how Kendrick is actually the loser in all of this. Overall, one of the angles that some have gone with is this notion that Lamar has been stream botting on both Spotify and YouTube. Just recently, Academics had an individual on his stream who claims he was paid off by Kendrick's team to increase his streams by 30 million. And the question you ask yourself is how much was the man paid for all this? 2,500 apparently. Soon after making his allegations, fans asked for proof and they subsequently got it in the form of a transaction screenshot in which the man received 2500 from Anthony Saleh LLC. For those who may not know, Saleh is Kendrick Lamar's manager. However, of course, the screenshot is most likely a fake. The thing is, fans are not buying any of this. Kendrick won simply because he made better music, better disc records. Not only do I not care that he used bots, but I knew he did. Okay. Cool. What 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 else is there to, to y'all didn't know that Kendrick used bots? No, and you I didn't thought care. that this was just the first time miraculously that a Drake record ever had more dislikes than likes, or you didn't know that that was bots. Bots to me was a part of how you win the war versus Drake. Yeah, this new age war. Hey, yeah. if, if you didn't do it, Drake was gonna do it. Mm. Probably did. He probably did. did. No, he probably did. did. He did. did. Yeah. But because he lost in the fashion that he lost in it seems to be a select crowd out there that continues to not lose gracefully